How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Against the World Gaming. This is Cuban Cigar, and this is going to be a very special tutorial. I'm essentially going to go through each of the classes. Um, each class will be an episode, and we'll essentially go through the classes, um, some tips and tricks on those classes, and then when that's all done, we'll see where we end up. But this first one I'm going to do is really important. Um, I feel like it's probably the most misunderstood Darkness Falls class out of all of them, and it's the farming class. So we're going to go through that first. We just started, started a brand new game. I'm going to go ahead and open my backpack and wear the backpack. This is, this is all the normal stuff. From here, it's going to want me to go to the trader, which we just have to be by the trader. That's not a big deal. But that's not really what we're here to do. We're here to essentially go through the farmer class. So we're going to go through this one first, and then the next episode, maybe I'll do Hunter or Labor. We'll do one of the other ones. But this episode in particular is about the Farmer class. So let's go ahead and read this, and we're going to accept. Okay. First thing it's going to want us to do, uh, let's run our quests, is we're going to make, we're going to make this one act. Okay. So it wants us to gather goldenrod flower, yucca fruit, and then we're essentially going to make goldenrod seed and yucca seed out of those. Um, so I see some yucca over here. So let's go ahead and grab that. This is going to be super quick. One of those. Now I don't have to punch it. Um, in in Darkness Falls, you can just hit E. But in order to get the um, perks, like eventually there'll be you know the farmer living off the land as you level up living off the land you'll get perks you'll gather more fruit so punching it like this is actually what will cause you to gather more as opposed to pressing e on it so keep that in mind later in the game um not to press e on plants if you punch them you'll actually gather the bonus amount okay so now we got to find some golden rod. now i do have uh creative mode enabled so we could fly through this a lot faster. Um, I can really quick just spawn in what I want, but I decided, you know what, if I can help it, I'm not going to use the creative mode, although I'm pretty sure at some point that's bound to happen. So, because, you know, you just can't find what you're looking for, or if I have to travel really far. Sometimes some of these quests, like for example, if you don't spawn anywhere near the desert, finding that yucca, that would be a problem. Now we got lucky and we spawned near the desert, so we're good. And goldenrod is just about everywhere, so I'm not all that concerned. Let's see. Let me find more goldenrod. Here's a little more. Um, and then for the purposes of the tutorial series, just so you guys know, I did turn off the zombie spawns. So because this is a walkthrough of the class themselves, um, I turned off the zombie spawns. I'm gonna have to turn them back on when we do some of the other classes, like security. Um, because you're required, some of the other classes are required to kill zombies. But anyway, that's not what this is about. So, from here, let's go here, let's go to recipes. I should be able to make goldenrod seed. Um, I should be able to make the yucca seeds on my, on myself. And then that should take, it should satisfy. Okay, so there's step one of the quest, right? And you know what? While we're at it, why don't we, um... Let's pick up some wood here and get ourselves. So we have to gather wood, right? So that's the next part of the class. So let's go ahead. I know I saw some stone lying around here, but I gotta find those ones you can find. I mean, I could literally punch a piece of wood. There we go. I mean, this could work, but it seems, uh, there we go. Um, 16 wood, huh? There we go. That's six. Seven. Why don't we uh, let's make a sharp rock? In this in this mod, you have to make sharp rocks and sticks in order to make things like axes and arrows and, and things like that. So pick uh, stone. Uh, let's just type axe. That's what it is. It's just axe. So stone axe. I need I need some plant fibers. Okay. Now I should be able to craft this stone axe. Come on, you can do it. There we go. 
Um, and then so the reward, the reward for that first quest was these two things, right? That this is the reward for the first quest. So we're gonna put all that on because it's why not, right? And now we can um so now we can actually now we can gather some wood for real here. It can be a lot faster. So um the rotting flesh, that's gonna be tough. I might have to I might because I don't have um zombies in, I'm probably going to have to spawn that in. Unfortunately, it is what it is, right? I'm gonna have to spawn that in. Um, which isn't the end of the world. I mean, I, these tutorials are meant to be quick and painless, so we're just gonna, I guess, chop this tree down quick and make it Because I would also like to make a storage chest before the, the stuff I gather in there. This isn't a survival walkthrough or a survival playthrough. It is, it is strictly a playthrough to get through to show you, um, to show you the. The different class rewards you get. Um, let's see, nitrate. Uh, let's go ahead and grab nitrate and clay. So let's go ahead and grab this clay, clay soil right there. Okay, so that takes care of part two of the quest. And if you ever want to see, you know, you can see here, my rewards were a bottle of murky water, two of those, two beef rations, and 50 XP. For on the first one, it was 50 XP. The t-shirt, the cowboy hat, and the cowboy boots. Okay, now we're on part three, which I have to get. I have to make a farm plot, place a farm plot, place a goldenrod seed, and place the yucca seeds that we um, that we made earlier. So, farm plot. We're gonna end up making four of these. I only need four. So let's go ahead and craft those four. Okay, that's gonna take a couple of minutes. So I'm gonna let that run, and we'll be right back as soon as it's made. Alright, so we're back. Farm plots are made. We're going to go ahead and put these four farm, farm plots down, which I'm actually going to end up like eliminating these. I don't like the farm plots. Um, I don't know why this mod makes you make these. I think it's kind of silly because they're, they're not really what you want to use um, once you can help it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and plant these just to satisfy the quest. That takes care of that quest. Um, which, let's see, what does that do? Um, looks like the bandages were the reward for that one. Okay, the next thing it says is gather some chrysanthemum, this apples, and then I'm going to craft the apple seeds and I'm going to craft the chrysanthemum seeds. So let's go ahead and do uh, the chrysanthemum. So we're going to go ahead and gather those and the apples. And we're going to go ahead and gather those. Okay, now we've got our apples and then we're going to make the seeds. And now I could go into creative, but I, I'm, you know, and just give myself the seeds, but that's really not, that's not what I want to do. Okay? Uh, uh, apple seed. <laughs> uh, craft two of those. Recipes. Recipes. Chrysanthemum seeds. Craft two of those. There we go. And now we've taken care of that part of the quest, which there's our seeds. Now it wants us to make animal feed. What was that reward? There wasn't a reward for that one. Okay. So now it wants us to make animal feed, and then we're going to make the animal snares, the chicken scoop, and the chicken coop, and then we're going to place those. And those are actually really great, especially early game. Um, it's a great source of eggs, feathers, meat, uh, leather, because it captures essentially rabbits and little chickens. Um, so let's see here. Animal feed. We're going to make four of those. And then we're going to... There we go. Let that make. You know what? I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put this book away. And let's put away the chrysanthemum and apples that we don't need right now. And let's put away the stuff that we're not going to be using. Uh, I'm keeping the frames on me because I'm gonna show you guys something actually that's super cool. Um once we get to that point. So we need to make a snare. It wants us to make an animal snare, which we need fibers for. And then that's in here. We're gonna have to just punch a few more, not a big deal. Gonna make a snare. Uh, and we got a couple more. What am I missing? Oh, did I put all my wood away? Oh gosh. So um. Okay. So then here we got our snare, and then we're gonna make a chicken coop, which is gonna require more, more of this. While the snare is being made, we can gather more plant fiber, and then get the chicken coop made as well. Because that's the other thing we're gonna need. 
Um, that's not going to take too long. I suppose we can wait for that. And then for now, because we're done with that, we can pick that up. <clears throat> and then as soon as we get through this class, this is a quick walkthrough through the class, so that you can see what it's going to have you do and what the rewards are of doing so. So that when you start your own game, you pretty much already, you're, you're kind of, you can kind of plan out what, what class to do. Right. So there we put our snare down. Chicken coop's almost ready. About seven seconds. And what, what will happen is this will, when it closes, it'll just look like a pole. Um, and I can show you guys what, it, what the pole looks like. And then we'll do the chicken coop. This one, when it's done, you'll see a bird's nest on top. Um, so to kind of, so wood pole? It'll look like this centered wood pole um, when it's closed. And you just go up to it, you press E, and you press E again. Press E to search it. If you just press E twice, it uh, it drops a backpack and then you can just pick up. And, and if, they, if it does close in the time we're doing this tutorial, I'll show you. Um, if I have to pause the video and just sit here and wait for these to snap, I will. And then we can show that on camera. But anyway, next part is mortar and pestle. Okay, so let's grab some clay out of here. Um, I don't think I can make the mortar and pestle on me. Um, so we're going to have to gather. Now, keep that in mind. The mortar and pestle is only made... In a, what did I just make? It's only made in a forge. Um, if you look here, it says, a, you know, the regular forge. So if you're going to go into the farming class, you might want to go into another class that gets you the forge. Otherwise, you cannot finish this. Um, but we're going to go ahead and here we're going to get the mortar. Uh, we're going to get one of those. Okay, so I've got a mortar and pestle. We're going to set it down right here, right next to our little spot. And that takes care of six of six, which gives us a blunderbuss and some blunderbuss ammo. Pretty neat little reward, um, especially early game, to have something like that. Okay? That's pretty cool. So, what I wanted to show you guys, let's grab these frames. We're going to leave these wood plots alone. I mean, they're, they're really not going to do anything. Here, here's kind of the interesting thing. I'm going to block this off. We're going to go 11 blocks. So it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then we're going to go 10 blocks. And I'm going to hit this one. That is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> um, so that's 2... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should give us eleven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and we'll go ten over. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, and then we'll seal this off. Okay. This is essentially the size of a of a farm plot given the farming watering system in darkness well okay and i'll kind of explain all this the first thing we're going to need we're going to need a shovel okay um let's just grab ourselves a titanium shovel because we're creative and we can okay and the other thing we're going to do is a rain catcher now you're going to want to make these rain catchers they're pretty inexpensive you only need one per plot okay so grab a rain catcher I don't know what the difference is between the two of these. Um, honestly, I'm better off just making one, just to just to be sure. Um, just to be sure, I made the right one. We're just gonna grab it, okay? We're just we're gonna make it. Um, I don't know what I mean. Okay, so rain catcher. Let's go ahead and craft a rain catcher. It's gonna take a few seconds. While that does that, we're gonna find the center of this. So one, two, three, four, five. That should be the center. One, two, three, four, five. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, okay, and then one. So that's the center. So I'm thinking about here. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, so this is the center right here. So what you want to do here is you want to dig two blocks down. Okay? Two blocks down, just like that. Okay? Then, inside of here... <laughs> You want to dig 
underneath this, you want to dig a three by three to allow the water to spill over underneath the dirt. So I'm going to dig that out really quick and then I will show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. So I will be right back. Okay guys, so we're back. I'm going to just show you this really quick. So if you come down in here, let's see if I can, it's going to be kind of tough to get in there. And you can see that all the way around, it's dug out. Okay, so so this is a three by three under here, completely dug out. Um, I'm gonna have to go into God mode out of there. <laughs> um, so then what you do is you just put your farm plot right in the center underneath that. Okay, what'll happen is on all the way around it, that'll spill over with water, and this block here will have water on it. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna need, we're gonna need a hoe. Um, we can do a garden, a scrap iron garden hoe. It doesn't really matter in this mod having an iron hole or a steel hole or no that's gonna matter okay and then you simply till the ground okay and everything in this plot even this furthest corner will be watered by that by this one by this one rain catcher this entire 81 seed farming plot will will grow and none of your plants will die okay on that note, you notice that we have apple seeds and we have chrysanthemums, okay? An apple seed is a tree. You can plant this anywhere without tilling the ground. You don't need water. It, it's like planting one of those trees, right? So if, if I were, if I had a pine cone or something in my, in my inventory, I can plant that. I can just literally plant it right here and it doesn't need water. I don't need to till the ground. And this will grow. You can put them side by side like this, but I don't recommend it. I would do a three block space. So you got, you got one, two, three, and then the third block, you, you put it. So you have two blocks in between the apple trees. Highly recommend you do that. Same with the orange trees, coconut trees, and banana trees. They don't need water. But the other seeds like chrysanthemum, um, goldenrod, corn, uh, potatoes, those all need... Um, they need the, the tilled ground and they need, so as you can see, I can't plant it over there because I didn't till the ground, but I, I because I didn't fertilize the ground with the hoe, but I can plant it here because I did fertilize. And you can kind of see the difference. You can see what happens to the ground after you do it. It slightly changes. Um, that's how you know that this is now uh, fertile ground that you can plant on. So. You know, I can this this will fit 80 seeds, with obviously the one in the middle is, is taken up for water, otherwise it would be 81, 9 by 9. But this plants 80 seeds. Um, I'm gonna get this filled up with a little bit of everything so you guys can kind of see what this would look like as a full farm. Um, and then we're gonna mess around with mushrooms, and that's probably gonna be the end of the tutorial. So I will be right back after I get this whole farm uh, planted. So something really quick I need you guys to see that I was running into as I was tilling, as I was, you know, using the hoe and I'm right, you know, I'm right clicking in some of these areas and nothing's happening, right? I'm like, why isn't anything happening? Okay. The reason is you have to punch out, you have to punch out the, the plant fibers. So don't forget to do that when you're setting up your farm. You punch out all the plant fibers, otherwise it doesn't let you till the ground. So it's just something I noticed that I didn't say anything before. So just make sure you do that, otherwise you're gonna have all sorts of issues. So I'm going to keep going at this and I'll be right back. All right, so really quick, I just wanted to show you guys what this looks like um, after these traps pretty much do their, what they're doing. So this is what they look like before, um, where they mature, or I guess trigger is what it's called. And then this is what the chicken coop looks like when it's got something to give you something to harvest. This is what the snare looks like when it's got something to harvest. As far as how long this takes, the animal snare takes two real life hours to that fat. The chicken coop takes 30 real life minutes. So I'm just kind of over here and that's what we got. It'll explode and from there. Now it's another 30 minutes. And then here I just pressed E twice instead of letting the timer on. And grab the back back. And then in two real life hours it will have it will have that other shape again. And you can so you can kind of just keep these on your farm. It's a great source of feathers, eggs, uh, meat, leather, bones, right? The meat, leather, fat, I think. I think sometimes they get bones, but I honestly don't know. Um, hopefully. 
you know, at the very least, you're probably going to get these items from the snare, and you'll get this along with eggs from the chicken. So I just want to show you guys that real quick. Uh, I'm going to get back to getting the farm done. All right, guys, so we're back. We got this whole thing pretty much taken care of. I've got some various plants in here, and it's not everything in the game. There are several things I didn't plant. I've got aloe, I've got goldenrod, yucca, pumpkin, hops, corn, potato, coffee, chrysanthemum. We're still missing blueberries, bananas, coconuts. Um, well, the coconuts and bananas, like I said, coconut, banana trees, orange trees, you plant the way you did those over there. But there are other plantable things, cotton. Um, it just goes on and on. There, there are so many things. And then later on, we get into like advanced farming, which I'll do as a separate video where we do like the underground farming and the um, genetic seeds, like the mutated corn. There's so many more things in this mod that you can plant. But this is pretty much a full farm. It's 80, 80 plants. So you could do one of these for every type of plant in the game and have a massive, massive farm. But I'd recommend you do it as a 9x9 nine nine with one uh, rain catcher in between. You're guaranteed to get growth. I've confirmed this with the Darkness Falls developer in his Discord. Um, I showed him a diagram and he said, yes, absolutely, this works. Um, he's the one that gave me the recommendation to dig out the 3x3 three three underneath this to have the water spill out and increase the spread of the way this works. A lot of people believe that the rain catcher has a radius of four blocks away from itself. But in, in all reality, it actually works opposite of that. The rain catcher is a source of water. The plant goes looking for water within four blocks of itself. So it's the plants that have a radius of four blocks, not the rain catcher that has a radius of four blocks. I know at the end of the day that kind of means the same thing, but it does kind of change the way you think about how these plants gather water from its source. So that's kind of how that works. The last kind of seed that's a little different than all of these is the mushroom seed. The mushroom seed, you can literally plant on anything, anywhere. Now back in the day, old seven days to die, you had to plant this underground. It couldn't be in sunlight. That's no longer the case. I could literally plant these mushrooms. I could plant them on the pillars. I could plant them on the blocks. I could plant them on the, on the asphalt. I can plant them right on the grass. Um, using a, a farm plot with a water source for mushroom seeds would be a complete waste of resources. Don't do that. Just plant your mushroom seeds. You know, make a wall somewhere and plant mushroom seeds everywhere. And they will grow. Mushrooms don't need a water source. Mushrooms don't need anything. They just grow. So what I like to do is I make my farm squares and then I place the mushroom seeds right on the top of the wood frames. Um, I upgrade all the wood frames so that I don't accidentally pick up a wood frame when I go to pick up my mushroom seeds where I don't punch my wood frame. So I upgrade them all and my, my mushrooms just go right on top. It works out really well and you keep all your mushrooms along with all of your other plants. Um, so that's pretty basic. Um, Darkness Falls farming quests. Um, we kind of did a quick, a very, very quick, using creative tools, obviously, a very, very quick walkthrough. But I really wanted to showcase how the farming actually works. Because there's a lot of false information out there about how farms work in Darkness Falls for Seven Days to Die. I reached out to the mod developer. I asked a bunch of questions. And this is what he told me that he does himself that works really well. So do it this way, nine by nine. Dig two down underneath, dig all the way around underneath, creating a three by three. Put your rain catcher in there, till all of your soil with your hoe, plant all of your seeds, and then do it again and repeat and repeat and repeat with however many farm plots you want. And that's pretty much it. That's farming on Seven Days to Die, Darkness Falls mod. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, if you did find it helpful and you find it entertaining, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell to get notified for other videos that I will be posting on the other classes and we'll get into advanced farming as well after I do all of the classes. Um, if you want to come hang out with me and watch live, I do stream every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday over on Twitch. That's twitch.tv forward slash XAWX Cuban Cigar. And as always, take it easy. I'll catch you guys next time.